So the JBL Charge 5 has been my favorite mid-size speaker to recommend because it sounds really good thanks to its woofer and tweeter setup, which is very rare for a speaker of this size, plus this speaker has really good battery life. However, the Charge 5 has recently gotten an upgrade and we now have the JBL Charge 5 with Wi-Fi. So we're just going to make this video very simple. Is it worth paying extra to spring for the Wi-Fi model or just get the basic model? Regarding pricing, the JBL Charge 5 with Wi-Fi has a retail price of $230, which I do feel is pretty up there. Whereas the basic Charge 5 has a retail price of $180 and it likes to go on sale for $150 on a regular basis and on major shopping holidays, it can go for like $130. Regardless, I highly recommend the JBL Charge 5. So if you want to pick this speaker up, it'll be linked down below or you can always press on the YouTube shopping button. And if you want to further support the channel, pick up a big head approved hat, link down below. We've got trucker hats and snapbacks. By buying a hat, you help the unbiased and unsponsored videos coming and it also helps us cover more products and produce more versus videos. Thank you to everyone who's already bought a hat and look out for more designs coming soon. And also, please remember to hit that like button and let's get subscribed. Now, from a design standpoint, the Wi-Fi version of the Charge 5 is very similar to the basic version. The main difference here is that the passive radiators have a Wi-Fi logo to remind you that you have the Wi-Fi version, and the button layout up top is a little different. Gone is the party boost button, and instead, we have a heart so that you can start a pre-made playlist from the top of a button. And battery life on these speakers is the same too. Both of these speakers have an advertised battery life of 20 hours but real to world use with these speakers running at 80% volume they're both going to be good for about 12 hours of playback time which is not bad at all both of these speakers charge via a USB-C port as they should but unfortunately neither of these two speakers have an audio jack so you can't use these speakers with a wired connection however both of these speakers do have a USB-A port so that you can charge your own devices however I do feel that this USB-A port isn't going to get used all that much because most phones these days just come included with usb -C to USB-C charging cables and no you cannot plug in a USB stick into either of these two speakers and get them to play music off of them. But when it comes to wireless connectivity this is the major difference between the basic version and the Wi-Fi version. Now both of these speakers have Bluetooth and both of these speakers can be connected to two devices at the same time so you and a friend can both be DJ and both of these speakers only have support for SBC. But the JBL Charge 5 Wi-Fi has Wi-Fi. So if you're connected to the same Wi-Fi network as the speaker, you'll be able to stream to it using either AirPlay or Chromecast. And since this is a Wi-Fi speaker, you'll be able to connect the speaker up to other Wi-Fi enabled speakers or soundboards and get them to play in sync. However, the JBL Charge 5 Wi-Fi does not have Party Boost, so you will not be able to connect the Wi-Fi version of the Charge 5 to any of your JBL Party Boost enabled speakers. And personally, I do feel that this is a very big deal because I do feel that Party Boost is one of the main selling points of JBL speakers besides them just sounding really good and being very durable. And personally, I would rather have Party Boost than Wi-Fi support on my speaker because with Party Boost, you'll be able to connect all of your JBL Party Boost enabled speakers together to one another and you don't have to use a Wi-Fi connection. With Party Boost, you'll be able to wirelessly connect your speakers together whether you're at the beach or at the park or in the woods. Whereas with the Charge 5 Wi-Fi, you can connect it to other speakers regardless of brand, but you do need a Wi-Fi connection. But then there's also the app. The Charge 5 with Wi-Fi is using JBL's new JBL One app and from here you can interact directly with some streaming services or more importantly you can adjust the EQ of this speaker. Overall this speaker is well laid out and easy to use. But finally, there's the sound of this speaker. Regarding speaker setup, both versions of the Charge 5 have a woofer and tweeter setup, and they have a dual pass radiators that shoot out the sides. And both of these speakers are rated at 40 watts. But now we're gonna jump into the sound test. Both of these speakers are playing at the same volume, and they're both playing with their bass raised by one click. Oh, I'll be fine, cause we'll be paying in 
So first off, I really like the Charge 5 because the Charge 5 has very good instrument separation thanks to its woofer and tweeter setup because the woofer focuses on the mids and the tweeter handles the highs. And having this type of speaker setup is rare for a speaker of this size. But the instrument separation and detail is the same on these speakers. However, when it comes to their max volume performance, the basic Charge 5 gets decently loud for its size. However, I did notice that the newer Charge 5 Wi-Fi gets a little louder than the basic Charge 5. Now this can mean one of two things. Either the Wi-Fi version of the Charge 5 gets a little louder than the, the basic version, but you won't notice this difference unless you use these speakers back to back, or my Charge 5 is starting to show its age because this is a speaker that I use very frequently and I got this speaker at launch. Nonetheless, both versions of the Charge 5 sound and perform great. But with all that being said, the JBL Charge 5 is still one of my favorite midsize speakers to recommend. But personally, I don't see a real need to pay extra for the Wi-Fi version of this speaker. You're going to get the same performance, but more importantly, you're going to have to sacrifice party boost, which is a big selling point for JBL speakers, especially if you want to pair your speakers together in an area where you don't have Wi-Fi. If you made it this far, I guess you enjoyed the video, so hit the like button and get subscribed. If you want to pick any of the products up, they'll be linked down below. And if you want to further support the channel, check out the merch. I made some shirts and hoodies that look and feel great. And you know I can be very particular, so I'll only slap my name on something if I'm really proud of it.